December, it's winter. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, 18, 19 degrees right now. Uh, it's supposed to, uh, supposed to uh, snow this weekend. This is Friday. That would be in the 20s and then snow six or eight inches and then be then drop down into the negative numbers. Uh, we hauled the last load of uh, our last of our heifers home yesterday. Our bread heifers. Those were the only, uh, the only cattle that were still out and about. Um, they are way up there on the hill now. Uh, we're going to rotate them into some, some of our winter uh, winter cover crop grazing uh, hopefully uh, I guess we'll see how much it snows um, what I'm gonna show you is uh, we've got a group of cows with some uh, late calves uh, the calves are still on the cows <clears throat> uh, but these cows are watered uh, this yard is watered via stock tank um, we'll just back up a little bit <clears throat> but uh this that whole pasture all out there has uh, there's a tank way up there there's a tank about right in there and then, then there's a tank down here oh, that is all uh, watered by this hydrant right here um, and this uh, hose that is all above ground hose granted it's probably six inches deep now in because it's been out there for 10 years but uh this is it's all above ground uh stock tank type of water so mainly we use it for the summer time uh we don't have uh really any uh, need for winter watering um those heifers uh their tank was filled uh was full before it froze really hard so they're basically we chop the ice out of it and they drink it down because then we're going to move them up into the timber uh, next to our some winter rye uh, and then there's a creek up kind of a creek fed water up there spring fed water they're gonna they'll drink out of there uh, hopefully we'll get some views of that but uh so right now with this group of cows right here and uh, this is usually where our herd bulls end up but uh, we got a, a hose hooked up to the to the hydrant because uh, our, you know, of course our water line is froze because it's like 12 to 14, 15, 16 degrees out. Uh, so we uh, basically we run our our garden hose uh, all day uh, to wire this group of cows. Uh, it keeps up with them fairly well. It, it, it does work. It'd be nice to put all my wires in, etc. But that stuff costs money. So, but how we uh, keep our tank from freezing is I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna show you is uh, our homemade uh, homemade tank ice de-icer it is a 55 gallon barrel it has a uh, I don't know a handful of uh, concrete uh, silo blocks in the bottom of it to hold it down and we also have it uh, wired down and then we have a 30 30 some odd gallon barrel inside of it as you can see we have a fire burden as you can see that water is thawed out um, that was a sheet of ice this morning uh, as you can see right down that's how thick the ice was this morning and this is what it looks like now uh, that is uh, water it does look icy but uh, Basically, we just uh, let this t this tank will get filled up. Uh, they've been drinking kind of all day. Um, we will shut the tank, the wa the hose off, put the hose in the office tonight. Uh, we'll throw a few more chunks of wood in the fire. Uh, yeah, there's just something that just blew off, but um, <clears throat> it's you go from that chunk of ice to this, and this has been a well, it's been most of the day it's been running, but um, it doesn't take long for it to get a, a hole opened up in it. Um, I know they make uh, LP tank heaters like this. Uh, I saw some on uh, Craigslist for 200 bucks used. Uh, the, they had a link to some new ones that were 400 bucks. Uh, this cost me like nothing. And then plus we got that pile of crap. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, that pile of crap to burn. 
So basically we just come out here and we uh, saw firewood uh, for a day. Or not a day, but like an hour. Uh, that's We're down to that. But basically we've got a feed sack and a little bit of diesel fuel and we fire up and then we just kind of just keep throwing stuff at it during the day. Um, it works. Uh, it keeps this, this tank... Uh, it does get ice on it, but it'll... Um, so far we've never had it froze 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 um and as long as our garden hose is running um it doesn't freeze uh cattle kind of like the fire so we're just waiting for a cow to catch on fire but i don't think that'll happen but um the reason we have the two tanks or the two barrels is so when this one that we've been burning it kind of rots out it doesn't uh all kind of fall apart into the uh water tank we can just kind of scoop the whole thing out but so far so good um keep way to fix up uh, i guess to have a, a water tank that's uh out in the middle of kind of nowhere was this you know that we don't have an automatic water for but yes uh i make water would be nice uh maybe someday we'll do it but as of right now um this is what we need or we need water here so this is how we do it um we've done it for this will be our third year doing it this way and it works out well for us so uh teach their own anyway thanks for watching uh comment questions uh youtube stuff as always thanks to everybody subscribed us lately if you haven't subscribed please do um videos all the time so uh thanks everybody uh hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll catch you guys next time